Hello everyone and welcome back to another drawing time of Improverts. Today, as you can see, we are doing a fan art of the new sensation <laughs> Animal Crossing New Horizon and I'm drawing Celeste and Blathers in the background if you can see him. And also the topic of today is the five useful daily habits for artists, which includes the five things below. And then I'm going to explain each point, why they are useful to me, and why I recommend it. But before that, let's roll the intro first. Alright, now let's start off with the draft of the fan art while we talk. Now first I have to explain why my voice seemed softer than normal. It's because it's pretty late at night and I'm recording the audio for this video. Anyway, let's go to the first useful habit. Number one is the figure drawing exercise. Now figure drawing is basically looking at the picture of the model or an actual model and try to sketch out the human form and sort of practice drawing anatomy, practicing your speed, the flow of your pen, etc, etc. I have tried to do a streak of drawing exercise, which means I try to do figure drawing every day in a streak of 100 days. It was pretty fun. <laughs> Sometimes when we draw our art, we tend to focus very much on the details, a human face for example, and we forgot to look at the whole picture. For figure drawing, it is a timed exercise, which, which means so sometimes you get the longest 20 minutes and the shortest uh, 15 seconds for you to draw a figure, a whole human figure. With the time limit, you will be forced to stretch yourself, to draw very fast and to cover the whole general figure of the human body. You won't have any time to dwell in the details. For, for art in general, you can learn to draw in big shapes and big figures in the beginning. For example, in the beginning I was drawing the big shadows and light area with like dark purple and white in, at first, I wasn't drawing the sparkle in Celeste eyes in the beginning because, you know, in the beginning you focus on the big shapes and um, for figure drawing it's something like that. And some people will have a hard time, especially if you just started doing the figure drawing exercise, some people will find it difficult to find new figure images, you know, to do the exercise. Because, well, not many people will actually film themselves or take photos of themselves making poses other than, you know, Instagram selfies and, you know, those fashion models which have a whole big chunk of clothing on and you won't be able to see the figure, you know, you won't be able to see the muscles. And so, um, my choices in figure drawing images, the most common is Pinterest. But it is still limited. The people in the images are usually clothes, so I used Pinterest images usually for art references instead of figure drawing exercise. And for actual figure drawing sites, there is the line of action.com. I put the link in the description. It is a site specifically for artists to practice drawing. You can look for human reference animal reference and environment reference basically as yes, a lot of reference and also human figure for you to either practice or use for reference another one also specifically for artists is the proko art model poses there is the paid version and the not paid in the free version for the paid version you can go to proko.com i'll also put the link in the description you have to pay to have access to the images of professional models for your figure drawing. 
they have really high quality image I think they're in 4k so it is very high resolution and they have clothed model images and nude model images for the and for the free model poses there's the figure drawing video on YouTube when you play the video they have the timer they have the model and basically when you play the video you are starting the exercise but if you search if you just type the keyword proko figure drawing on YouTube search you may not find many of them yeah because proko has a lot of those figure drawing video because some of them contains nude models and so YouTube had to sort of move them away from the from the search result and so you won't be able to find them for that uh, you can also look for the link in the description I'll link you there the link will take you to the first nude figure drawing exercise and if you don't want to draw nude models you just want to draw clothed models then you can just search Proko figure drawing and the result will be there Okay, I've talked a lot, I've talked so long about figure drawing. It's time to move on to the second point, which is doodle your ideas. Now, doodling doesn't have, doesn't exactly have to be beautiful. You just have to note down your ideas. Um, I, I recommend using a very, very small sketchbook. So small that you can put it in your pocket wherever you go, or maybe have a bigger pocket or something. Now, because inspiration hits us randomly, sometimes we are got inspired while walking on the street, sometimes we have a great idea while we're eating. But because we're doing something else, we think that, well, I have to put it off later, I'll do something about it in the future. And then in the future, we simply forget about those ideas. And that's such a waste of inspiration, right? And so, having a notebook wherever you go is a very useful way to have you note down, jot down your ideas immediately, just in case. And then when you have the artist block, for example, you don't have any ideas or you're looking for ideas for your next artwork, you can simply pull out your doodle notebook or your ideas bank and you can choose the ideas from the notebook and start your art project. It's a very simple one, but sometimes I still forgot about my notebook. <laughs> anyway, if you can do that, I highly recommend it. Onward to number three, which is comment on other artists' work. Now, a lot of us, especially digital artists, would love to search for other digital arts on social media, like DeviantArt, art station instagram pinterest even facebook there are a lot of social medias where artists can put their work on we love to look at different work and be inspired by different people but other than looking at others work i recommend also commenting because i think a lot of artists can relate to this we love receiving comments about our work not just those I like it very much, good work, good job, but actually try to say your genuine opinions. For example, this artwork reminds me of this thing and the other thing. Oh, let's take this as an example. This Celeste and Blathers fan art reminds me of how much I want to play Animal Crossing right now. And uh, Celeste is my favourite character or something. You know, just simply engage in the conversation. If you want to step onto the next level, you can give some suggestions or critique about the artwork because it, this not only train your ability to judge an artwork, but it also helps you reach out to other artists. I think most artists, unless they have tons of comments a day, they would actually look through all the comments they received and when you comment, they will appreciate it. And hopefully, you know, they might remember you. And they might look at your profile and follow you in return. 
Who knows? All right. Number four, the fourth habit, fourth useful habit, is to move around. Now, what does that mean? Artist, unless you're standing in front of a canvas, you are sitting all day in front of. If you're a digital artist, you're sitting in front of the computer for hours a day, and remaining this position, the sitting position, can be grueling to your body. In my experience, if I spend like three hours or even more just drawing without any breaks in between, my butt will ache, and then my legs will also be jelly. And when I stand up, I'll see stars immediately. I get dizzy all over, and so move around basically means do some exercise in general, breathe some fresh air, and move your muscles a bit after a long day of work. And if you're not an exercise person, just walking around or do some yoga or do some stretching is also better than just sitting all day. Ideally, some doctors. Would suggest that you stand up and rest for at least five to ten minutes after an hour of work or half an hour of work. The danger of not taking breaks after a long period of working is that you'll be easier to feel burned out because you know your mind is exhausted, your body is exhausted. You just want to give up. You just want the work to stop. This is. A bad thing to happen for artists, you know. So, be sure to rest enough so that you can do your best and make your best artwork. The last useful habit is to find your productive workplace. For me, I'd like to work in a very quiet room with my headphones on, playing some non-vocal music in the background, and some. Some writers or artists they like to use coffee shop as their workplace. You know, it's very chill having coffee on the side of the table and a laptop in front of them. And some students like to study in library. And what about you? What is the place where you feel the most productive? I suggest you try going there to work, switching an environment. Some people don't work their best in their bedroom because looking at their bed makes them want to fall asleep or makes them want to do something else other than working. And distraction is one of the main sources of stress and procrastination. So I think it is very important to solve this problem, other than. Let it carry on. Is there is there any good workplace that you can think of? You can comment below and let me know. I'd like to see how you think. What do you think is a good workplace? So these are the five useful habits that I recommend very much. But none of the habits here can instantly make you a successful artist because all habits are effective because you consistently carry them out. And persevere. Also, if you find yourself not being able to fulfill one of the habits, there's also no problem with that. These five habits are not must. You don't actually have to do that. These are just my suggestions, my own experience. Every person have their own circumstances, and their own needs. Having something not working out for you. Doesn't mean that you are bad at something. You just have to look for what works for you and persevere and carry on. And the Celeste fan art is finally complete. You can take a look at the full artwork on Ingrovert.com. Link in description. And if you enjoy this video, make sure to click like and subscribe. And lastly, lastly, there's a question for you because I've been. Obsessed with Animal Crossing lately. I'd like to know what's your favorite Animal Crossing NPC or villager. Comment below and let us all know. And that's pretty much all of it this time. See ya.